Welcome to Mr. Wax's classroom. Come on in and look around, and if Mr. Wax is here, ask him any questions you might have. Or if you want more information, just go to mrwax.wordpress.com. So what does Mr. Wax teach, or has taught, out of this classroom? Well, all the computer science courses, including Computer Science 20S, Grade 10, 30S, Grade 11, 40S, Grade 12, also IB computer science courses, both at the standard and higher level. Mr. Wax has also taught math, including a new course, Math Numeracy, that he has been piloting this year. Mr. Wax has taught information technology and photography from grades 9 through 12, social studies at the grade 9 level, and piloted the Peace and Conflict course, as he was the first teacher to offer that course. Mr. Wax also teaches the Theory of Knowledge, an IB course at the grade 11 and grade 12 level that all diploma students take, and it is essentially a philosophy course. Mr. Wax has also expanded his creative side and taught visual arts. If you're looking for graphic arts or photography, you can continue through this room and out the other door or just go down the hallway to find those programs. If you're looking for a computer hardware course, I might want to suggest trying the electronics room where Mr. Yakimovsky runs a great electronics program. So what is computer science? A lot of students come in with this expectation. Take computer science, something happens in the middle, and you make video games. But we need to explore the question mark in the middle by examining computer science in terms of defining the terms, figuring out what that means, and how we will actually learn it. At the highest level, computer science is both a theoretical subject and a practical subject. It is an abstract academic subject in the sense that you can study computer science on a purely academic level. These are the kinds of things you do in a university degree. On a more practical level, or more concrete, computer science is a vocation. It is a job. There are many jobs in programming, and it might be argued they are some of the hottest jobs on the market. But let's define some terms. What does computer science mean? The computer, well, that's a computing device. We now have a variety of those, Macs, PCs, tablets, phones, etc. It's the major tool used in the course, like a calculator is used in math or a microscope in biology. The word science is related to the traditional sciences in a sense in the way that it uses a method, like the scientific method. That means essentially a step-by-step -step process. But what most students associate with computer science is the idea of programming or coding. This is how the tool and the method come together to accomplish the major goal, which in computer science, of course, is to solve problems. So let's rewrite the course name. A methodological, method, scientific, mathematical, typed or coded. So we'll use that word, methodological. Digital, which again, does imply a computer, but it implies more than a computer, and that this device will be programmed or coded electronically problem solving. But you know what? This didn't work well in the course handbook. So although methodological digital problem solving is more accurate, maybe we could simply describe computer science as step-by-step -step problem solving on the computer using code. So how do we do that? Well, first thing, we've got to figure out what the problem is. For most of my courses, I do this for you. I present this in the form of assignments. In Larger projects, like final projects and things that you create, you identify your own problem, like for example the problem of making a Pac-Man game. Then you decompose it or break it down using logic, for example in Pac-Man, figuring out where all the pieces of that problem are. Solve the problem in a methodological or using a method way. This is what we study, the code, how to work the method, etc. And then test it, get feedback. This is the nice thing in computer science. You run it. If it works, great. If it doesn't, you try again. You go back to the first step and possibly revise this. This is again a mixture of the theoretical and the practical. So if you want some more information, just Google Mr. Walks or go to my website, mrwalks.wordpress.com and feel free to look around the room at some of the running code examples from various courses I teach.